Uh, so I will start with uh, with two numbers, and one is that in the um, in the survey, uh, we have, this was a survey to alumni who were either executives, senior managers, board members, C-suite members, etc. We had a, a terrible number, which is only one percent of the board members were involved in digital transformations. So one percent, you know, that basically means that there are not that many digital transformations anyway. Uh, but uh, the second one is if, when they are, they're not really very uh, hands-on. So I think uh, that is sort of a, a bit of a frightening, uh, a frightening number. I would say the number for what we call business model transformation, which is improving your business processes, which is more a functional application, had a much higher number, which is 9%. And that's sort of interesting because in a certain way, you would expect the boards to be more involved in the big transformation than in functional transformation. So I would have expected before that if you wish the number would be 9% are involved in, in big transformations and 1% on, on, on functional transformation because that can be delegated to the management. So that I think that was a, a number that came out. Uh, the second one is where is the level of responsibility uh, for digital uh, strategy and for digital responsibility with the caveat, you know, what does digital mean? But uh, the question was, you know, where is where is the level of responsibility for your digital initiatives? And basically, 36%, one-third said the C-suite, so that is the, the senior executives. And then the second one was senior managers. So you had 90% where the key responsibility for digital was not even at the C-suite, but people were uh, what I would we call typically the third line. You know, the first line is the CEO, the second line is the, is the C-suite, and the third line are people reporting to the C-suite. So 19% were in in the in senior management uh, hands, and then and then came 17% at the board level. So the so these two numbers together basically means that boards are very much behind. I will say, you know, if you put the numbers together of, of what Leary said in this, uh, my argument would be that digital can go in so many dimensions that strategy is about alignment. <coughs> and if you then sort of say digital is going to impact the whole organization in so many ways, you would expect a bit more steering from the boards. And so the numbers basically show that that steering is not there. Part of the reason is, is board members are still learning and the organization is still learning too. But even in steering the learning or deciding what one should learn about, one would expect more, more steering. So I think that's sort of as much as, as I will say about, uh, about the numbers. And then uh, what are some of the comments? I think this is now becoming clear on, um, I think we're doing a little bit in, in digital, I think, what's, <coughs> what's happening in business today. If you say, you know, how is business doing? And the answer is not well. Well, what's the problem? Governance, you know, and then everybody goes home and says, okay, now we know the problem is governance. And uh, I think at, I'm going to say some of the same uh, comments, uh, which is, uh, I think, in my view, what is good about the digital revolution is that boards are going to have to make decisions about steering the future. And instead of actually, you know, steering forward by looking at the rearview mirror and looking at the financials from last year, I think boards will have to be much more wasteful because exploration is a lot of trial and error where you don't really know what's going to work, what doesn't work. So boards will have to waste much more time just exploring the space. I mean, uh, this is very much a Nordic panel. Uh, the nice thing about why was, why was uh, uh, the uh, Norwegian sort of the first one on, the, on, the, on Amundsen on the South Pole, because he wasted a lot of time practicing. And I think that's sort of the image that I would leave for, for boards, which is much more practicing in the digital space, going around in your companies, in other companies, and just trying to keep track of, A, you know, where is the tanker going? Or, um, you know, where should the tanker be going? Or should we just replace the tanker and cut it into pieces and, and explore in, in much uh, smaller ways? I think that would be, I think, certainly much more. And strategy as exploration as opposed to strategy as execution and overseeing implementation. Because you don't even know what you're going to implement. And as you implement, the digital is going so quickly 
that in fact what you need to implement, you're already late, and then you need to change again. So, so I think uh, the whole view of, of I think uh, strategy, I think will will focus much less about, you know, are we implementing the strategy, but shouldn't we change the strategy? And and I think that's sort of again part of the exploration journey, thinking again of going to the South Pole is, are we going on the same way, or actually, you know, should we change and should we stop and and go back and should we switch? for dogs as opposed to ponies, you know, which uh, Scott didn't do and that led to a lot of problems, or should we go for, for uh, uh, sleighs or whatever? Uh, you know, I think that's, <coughs> is, is I think, the, the direction. So much less certainty, much more trial and error, and I think much more tacking, you know, sort of back and forth, as opposed to, you know, we're going from Southampton to New York and, and we know the way and you know there are a few icebergs, but that doesn't matter. You know, let's go. To, let's just go full steam ahead, and then we crash into the iceberg. And I think the digital is an iceberg. I think you can really melt a company by actually steering in the in the wrong direction. So I think these are are I think my major comments. I'm sure Agnes and Peter will add some more, but I think that what that is sort of what comes out. How to do that, of course, is going to be an interesting question. And I'm going to say, you know, come to my classes or, or read my <laughs> colleagues' books or whatever. Um, but I think it is an opportunity for boards because one of the questions we left with was the what we call the 20 billion or the 200 billion question, which is, is there going to be a finite set of digital forms or is this uh, industry 4.0 uh, the road to customization, which is then, in fact, there is no standard answer. And we're going to really go to competitive strategy, which is every organization will choose its competitive niche. And digital is the way to build that competitive niche. And that, of course, will, will need the, the activation of the, of the boards much more. So compared to maybe what <coughs> boards are naturally doing, the culture of the board, which is keeping control, the issue is not keeping control, but, you know, in the image... Uh, also is more surfing the wave and then getting out of the wave. Um, and then finally, I would say the good news is um, I think much more transparency. I remember one of our people uh, who testified in, uh, in our uh, program was in a major German manufacturing company and uh, some of his colleagues from other divisions had been involved in some fraud. You know, I don't have to mention the name. It sort of was well in the papers all over. But he actually had been very good in compliance. But because the executive committee was collegial, uh, he, was, he was caught in that wave of, of fraud. Now, he wanted to get out of it, and therefore they agreed to settle. Well, now, you know, people, he came, and immediately some students Googled his name, and they said, you know, ag agreed to pay, you know, this is a lousy cheat. You know, who's this guy? And then they pointed to me and saying, you know, how do you allow these people to testify? You know, and so I think that is going to, the good news on digital is going to make things much more transparent and it's going to leave a trace. And that trace, I think, is not going to erase. I think that's really the digital world, which is, that's an amazing thing. As much as digital is changing everything, actually, because of digital, whatever you did will never be erased. And I think that will, will, make people much more. Uh, I think one of the, the, the final comments that comes out is, I know one of the, the consulting companies said, you know, you need a digital director on the board. I don't think that is, that's what we say is, is what's yeah. needed, is you need to understand digital yeah. as a company. You need to work with the C-suite, and you need to work much more with people below, because true innovation happens at level N minus three, N minus four, so the good news for executives and boards is that they will actually do much more uh, teamwork.